the Honorable Martha Wangari Karua, the DP nominee for Azimio La Omoja One Kenya Party. We know you're committed to certain principles and you stick to them, irrespective of how the ground around you shifts. And that's why we celebrate you today. Every time I see Martha in the corridor, I jump into an empty courtroom and I hide somewhere waiting for her to pass because she always has a petition or rather. That is the person who I pray is going to become the deputy president because this place will never be the same again. It was Mandela who, when he was asked why he was opposing apartheid, he said, not only do we feel the injustice, but I felt that it was important for the dignity of my profession. If you read the history of Sir Winston Churchill, he was a rebel. They said when, even when Ned Chamberlain came and saw Hitler and announced peace in our time, Churchill said, no, there's no peace so long as the Nazi people are there. And lawyers have been in the forefront of making Kenya of trying to make Kenya progress, I don't think we have completely, entirely dropped the button. Let's do what we can. Two weeks ago, I was nominated as a running mate to one of the main candidates, the Right Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga. So it's like a celebration, it's like an icing on our celebrations because irrespective of which persuasion, it's recognition and inclusion. Today I'm so proud that women are an embodiment and a force that God has placed in them to, to come up with solutions for each and every situation. We will not celebrate them if they are thieves. Bona Sifiwe, I hope you have not carried words of notes to give us. I have known um, and worked uh, with Her Excellency Honorable Martha Karua for very many years. And throughout, she has stood out as a champion for human rights, for good governance, for the rule of law, and for inclusion of women in leadership and in decision making. Sisi ni washirika. Tusibakie kwa washirika waku tafuta kura peki yake, no. Muslims have committed to the struggle for justice from colonial time, but have faced structural discrimination, marginalization, and injustices. We believe, Your Excellency, your track record and commitment to justice will find the strategic partner in the Muslim Ummah in our guest for establish a just Kenya for all of us. The introduction of Martha's name within the Azimio discussion gave us fresh thought. What will she contribute to this new coalition that is being formed? We as a Muslim community have very major issues when it comes to rights, have very major issues when it comes to the rule of law, have very major issues when it comes to a number of the issues that she is very passionately uh, uh, entangled or uh, involved with for the past uh, uh, several years and, and probably decades of her life. She is not pretending. If the change of the political leadership of Kenya is something that we take with a pinch of salt, jokingly, or with the kind of small differences here and there, then a tragedy is going to befell on this country. And when, when tragedy befells on the country, where are we? Kwa hivyo tunamatarajio kwamba mama na baba wakiwa pamoja, nchi yetu itaweza kuelekea mahali. May I, on behalf of us, may say we are ready to engage with you, not just because of the vote, but even in governing. I believe you cannot govern a people you are not close to, you do not listen to, you do not reason with. In this country, our civil society has been a champion of governance and of good government. We have never had a nominee of a major party in this country whose roots were in civil society. 
You know, Martha Karua was involved in the setting up of the League of, League of Women Voters. She was involved with uh, FIDA. She was a senior official in the Law Society of Kenya. She has fought for all those things that seek to make our country great. Ms. Karua is the most progressive politician that this country has ever produced. This ticket of uh, Raila Odinga and Mother Karua is a human rights ticket. That there's a prospect of partnership and working together because our country is our responsibility. So you've been part of my journey and you are part of me and we want to move together. Martha Karua, Deputy President Azimio. We do not know why it's rocket science. We do not see how you cannot see the value of Martha. And one of the values of Martha is, of course, she's a national figure. She has vied for presidency. Martha has been a minister. She knows how to run government. And Martha's record speaks for itself. She's a committed woman. She's known for integrity. And she's known for her resoluteness. Kama Azimio, tutapata Martha Karua as a running mate na mwishowe deputy president. Haduri dhai. In August of this year, if it is the wish of the Kenyan electorate, we have a chance of electing a woman and shattering the glass ceiling by assuming the second highest office in the Republic of Kenya. Sisi tunataka kiongozi ambaye atati na ata, ata ifadhi nyathfa za kina mama kwa tika kwa serikali yake. This country must hold together and this is the Mandelio call. We are committed and the way I know my principal, the Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga is committed is the fact that he chose me as his deputy. <laughs> the fact the fact that apart from choosing me as his deputy, he has also told the nation that once we get there and God help us and you friends help us to get there, that he has already determined that I will hold the justice and constitutional docket. A ministry that coordinates that fight, I know he's damn serious. He didn't do it in vain. And I salute him in absentia and his courage, not just to nominate a woman, but a woman with a mind. <laughs> a woman, a woman known to take a stand when called upon to do so. <laughs> Mama, I am sure 
that mother has delivered the message we have nothing again to fear we have what it takes and i can tell you the women of this country that mother will fight for you if you truly love your society you have to think woman and when you see women see leaders don't see just a woman yes. mata karua anatosha mama kama ulivyoona alivyotambuliwa tuzidi kutambuliwa katika mambo na biashara kama mnavyojua kina mama kazi zao za mikono ziweze kutambuliwa wapate biashara we believe mother karua is not given that position because she's a woman she is given that position because of her ability her integrity and her experience as a leader in her own right <music>